One of my favorite things in the world to do is watch Friends. I know it's been off for years and years. It's not even around, but I still find myself binge watching old episodes. And I was thinking about this today and thinking it's the predictability of the friends in the circle, right? You have Chandler with his quirkiness, Monica with her type A of just everything has to be so neat and tidy and organized. It's Phoebe's ability to make you laugh at her silly songs. Ross always comes in with those smart comments and Joey and him and his food, like it is just so hilarious. And of course, Rachel, she just brings everybody together and it's just such this beautiful, cohesive team of people. And it's why I wanted to come on and share with you today that I have an opportunity for you to find your friends in the content creation space. So if you are thinking about creating your first or your next digital course, I don't want you to miss this opportunity because Amy Porterfield just opened the doors for registration for her course, Confident Bootcamp. And I'm actually offering a special bonus for anyone that registers for the course. Course Confident Bootcamp through my special link. So I want you to go to crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp to register. That's crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp. And what you're going to find when you get there is I have this special bonus private podcast series. It's called Money Mindset for Creators. So I want you to go register for Amy's bootcamp download the podcast, and immediately start listening to it because what this training is set up to do is to help you get your mind right about monetizing your content, making money so that you can fuel your content creation dreams. So go to crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp to register for course confident. And I cannot wait for you to find your friends and find the people that will be there for you. Do you see what I did there? Yeah. Nice little friends segue connection. Go to crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp. And I cannot wait to see you inside. Okay. Let's get into today's episode. Well, hey there. I'm sure you're thinking, wait, didn't I already listen to the podcast once this week? That's right. Today is a special bonus episode because I have some really exciting news. We are launching, and when I say we, I mean me and um, you are helping me launch the brand new podcast, The Profit Podcast. And I wanted to tell you a little bit more about it before I just change things up and you say, wait, what just happened? Why is there a brand new picture and just new things going on? Why is there a podcast coming out twice a week? Is this what I signed up for? Well, I'm going to tell you all about it today, so don't you worry. I'm going to fill you in on all the little details, but I wanted to bring you this special bonus episode. That way, you knew what was going on and you had an idea that Crystal didn't totally lose her mind and put the wrong stuff up. So stay tuned for all the cool things that are coming your way. Welcome to the Profit Podcast, where we teach entrepreneurs how to start, launch, and market their podcast. I'm your host, Crystal Profit, and I'm so excited that you're here. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Because if you've been thinking about creating a podcast for a while, well, I'm so glad you found this show. Think of this as the shortcut slash time-saving version of searching Google and YouTube for hours and hours trying to figure out the world of podcasting. Trust me, as a busy mama of three, I get it. You don't have a lot of time to be spent or wasted, I should say, searching the web, trying to find all the right ideas and all the amazing things that are out there, and you just end up overwhelmed. Trust me, I've been there, done that, took home the souvenir. But this podcast is going to help you in practical ways because twice a week we'll be delivering episodes that are going to give you steps to help you create a podcast your audience can't wait to listen to. So let's get right to it, shall we? Hey you. Yeah, you. 
Yes. Yes, I'm talking to you. Do you see? Yeah, okay. So are you looking to start a podcast in 2019? But you're thinking, I don't know what I'd talk about. Like, I have no idea even where to get started. Don't, 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 don't even let that thought overwhelm you. Because guess what? I've done all the work for you. I've actually created a workbook that has 500 podcast ideas for any industry. That's right, 500. Actually, it's over 500. I think it's like 554 for any kind of podcast. I specifically created this tool for entrepreneurs who aren't sure if podcasting is right for them. They say, well, I have a blank, insert any kind of industry, business. Will a podcast work for me? My answer, 99.99999% of the time is, yes, a podcast will totally work for that kind of business. So let's say you're in personal finance, or real estate, or business, or marketing, or technology, or beauty and fashion, or pet services, or life coaching, or parenting, or any other number of industries. I've got you covered. Let me show you some podcast ideas that I have for you to get started. You can go to crystalprofit.com slash 500 podcast ideas. That's crystal with a K, profit with two F's and two T's, crystalprofit.com slash 500 podcast ideas, and you can grab this free, 100% free, download today. So the podcast doesn't officially change until next week. So if you're listening to this at a later date, then you're probably thinking, what is she talking about? What's changing? Like, let me just explain some things first. So this podcast is changing from The Rookie Life, where we focused on what it meant to be a rookie and exploring new ideas and learning new skills and all kinds of things that were helping us in our entrepreneurial journeys. What we're switching to is The Profit Podcast where we're going to teach entrepreneurs how to start, launch, and market their podcast. So let me explain a few things. Why are these changes coming? I was lucky enough to sit down with a coach, or should I say two coaches, mentors, I don't know how you want to call them, but um, they're basically my spirit animals. I do like that analogy. But I had some guidance from some ladies that I really admire and that I hope to have as much success as they've had with their own podcast and their businesses and all the other things that they've done. Like they're just, they're awesome. They're amazing. (laughs) But I had some guidance from both of them and it was really just saying, your message isn't clear enough. What is this rookie life? And what is this side business that you're doing with trying to teach entrepreneurs? It was very confusing. And when I sat down and thought about it, I thought, well, what do people most ask me about? And it's about podcasting. That's what people ask me about constantly. I get tagged on Facebook all the time. I get private messages. I get emails. Hey, how do you do this? What's the best hosting site? What equipment do I need to buy? How do I even need to get started with this thing? How do you do audiograms? What kind of marketing tools do you have? Can you make money podcasting? There were just so many questions all of the time. And it's what really lights me up. It sets my heart on fire to help other entrepreneurs who are curious about podcasting and they want to do this for their thing, the thing that helps them communicate with their audience, the thing that helps them connect, like those deep connections. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you've ever listened to Oprah's Super Soul uh, podcast, I was going to say Super Soul Sundays, but it's the Super Soul Sundays version of the podcast. I told, I hope that makes sense. But if you ever listen to her when she's speaking, I'm like, man, Oprah's talking to me. <laughs> and I know that sounds so silly, but it's true. Like, I feel like she's talking directly to me because that is the type of connection that you have whenever you create a podcast. So I'm just so passionate about it. It's so much fun to me. Y'all know I like to talk. If you've been here for a hot minute, you know I like to talk. And so I was just really confused on what I wanted to do and what direction I wanted to take and the more I started thinking about teaching entrepreneurs how to podcast, 
I just got so excited that I couldn't I couldn't ignore it anymore. It's actually something that's been on my heart, but y'all know y'all know what I'm talking about. Like whenever someone basically holds up a mirror and tells you everything that you had in your head, you're like, okay, like that's validation. I can't ignore that. That is the next step in this entrepreneurial journey of mine. And it just it just lights my heart on fire, right? And it's and it's hard to listen to your gut. Like, especially when you know you're right. And I know that sounds kind of silly because I I just didn't, I didn't want to let go of the rookie identity, right? I, I love this brand that I've built about being a rookie and embracing your rookiness and, you know, your rookie mistakes, your rookie obstacles, parts of your journey. Like, I, I still have a passion for that. And I'm still super passionate about hearing and sharing female entrepreneurs like your stories your stories amaze me the things that people have overcome and the things that held them back for a long time that don't make them any different than me and you right like I'm sure that you've heard something if you've been hanging out with us for a while I'm sure that you've heard a story or two that have really resonated with you whether it's a mom who's working hard to provide a better life for her kids or a woman who just wants to do something because she has the desire in her heart and she knows that she was made to do incredible things in this world. Those just light me up. And I'm definitely not stepping away from those wholeheartedly. However, I am going to switch gears to talk about podcasting. So I hope that you continue to follow me in this journey and There's not a lot of major things that are changing other than some of the content is going to be geared towards podcasting. Actually, 99.9% of the content is going to be geared towards podcasting. But that's why I released this bonus episode. I wanted you to know what was happening before you open your phone or your listening device, whatever you're listening to me on now, Before you say, hey, turn on the next episode, and you're like, what just happened? What's going on? What has Crystal done? So I'm excited, and I'm a little nervous, and this is just part of my journey, right? It's part of my story, and I'm so excited that the rookie life was part of my life for so long, but again, one of my coaches, my mentors, was telling me, you're playing small, I don't know if you're intimidated to go big, but you're playing a small game right now. And that really hit home for me because I felt that way too. I felt very safe in the rookie zone and, you know, talking about rookies and talking to rookies. And, you know, y'all are my people. Y'all are the people like you've helped me create this podcast and turn it into something that I'm just so passionate about. I just, I love all the editing and the marketing and the recording like it's just so much fun to me and it's forever going to have a special place in my heart y'all know if you've seen them like I have rookie bracelets that say rookie I've written a book about rookies like it's just always going to be part of me but the thing that I need to do is play a bigger game so I hope that you join me on this journey so what things are going to be changing like I know that that's like an obvious question we're going to be publishing twice a week instead of once a week, which I'm really excited about. So this is kind of a funny story. I was doing a podcast episode for The Rookie Life and then writing a blog post about creating a podcast on Thursdays. So I did an episode on Tuesday and then a blog post on Thursday. And it was very conflicting. And um, some of the material just didn't coincide with one another. I think it was just confusing for people to say, wait, you're talking about this here, but then you talk about podcasting here. Like it doesn't, it doesn't really make sense to me. And so, um, and I'll just be honest, like whenever I went to go sit down and create my blog post, y'all, I don't type them out. I speak into Google Docs. I literally turn on the voice typing and I talk into it and that is how I write my blog post. How silly is that? Like, and so if you've noticed, I haven't put out a blog post in like two weeks if you're listening to this whenever the episode airs. And that is because I'm not going to do a lot of blog posts anymore that are strictly standalone. Instead, I'm going to have podcast episodes twice a week that are going to include some extensive notes. So if you're, if you love to read, that's awesome. 
I'll have some great resources for you to read. We'll have a podcast episode with the audio at the top, and then we'll have all of the awesome notes and some of the practical steps that you can take right below. So a few things that are changing, but it's not going to affect anybody unless, you know, you like to read it, then it's going to be there. So, and I'll show you how to do all of these things. Like if you're thinking, I don't know if a podcast is right for me. I don't know if I want to do this or not. Then I encourage you to hang out with us for a while and just see, do you have a business? Do you have a message that you're passionate about? Do you love to talk? Like that's not really a lot of, um, like high level, qualifications prerequisites I don't really know what you would call it I guess qualifications you know you have to want to talk or you have to have a message and you just have to have like I don't want to say balls because that sounds awful right and I know it's mostly women listening like let's be let's be honest it's mostly women here and why would I be talking about having balls (laughs) oh I need to cut that part out but um, but it's true. It's so true because this is a little scary. It's scary doing this for the first time and listening to yourself. And you're like, oh my God, is my voice awful? Are people going to make fun of me? Like what, what is happening? Like why, why do I sound like so high pitched or why am I so loud? Y'all, I have to turn my mic down whenever I record because I am so loud. But it's just me being me, and I should probably learn a lot more about audio equipment and all the things, which I do plan to do. This, that's what's exciting for me is I get to learn even more about podcasting with switching gears. I get to go research equipment and find out the answers to all the questions that y'all are asking me because I get them almost daily where people are saying, what equipment is best for this and what mic do I need for, you know, an office that echoes, which mine does, which is why I'm recording in my media room. But just all these things. Like, I'm I'm just super excited. And I hope you're excited to come along this journey with me. And that brings me to my next thing that I want to address. I just want to say thank you. I just wanted to take a moment of this episode and say thank you. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Thank you for making it this far into the bonus episode. And thank you for taking the time to listen. The journey of entrepreneurism is an ever-evolving process. And I appreciate you coming along this journey with me. We're taking it one step at a time, one day at a time. Right? And that's the only way to do life anyway. But that does it for this episode. So if this is your first time tuning in, I'd love for you to subscribe and hear what other fun things we'll be talking about in the coming weeks. I've planned some amazing content around our three-step formula, start, launch, and market. And I'm answering questions that I get asked all the time, like, how do I find an audience? What if I don't have an online business? What if I hate the sound of my own voice? Like, this is something I hear all the time. How can I make money podcasting and so many more? And I'll leave you with something that may sound a little familiar. Keep it up. We all have to start somewhere. Hey, Profit Podcast listeners, thanks for sticking around a little bit after the episode to hear this special message because I want to hear from you. We are starting a new segment called Fan Mail Shoutouts, and I want to hear from you and I want to hear your questions. What do you want to know? What questions have you been dying to ask me? So here's how to make this happen. Go to the app where you're listening to this podcast right now. Go there. I'll wait a second. Okay. Now, once you're there, you're going to see a hyperlink at the top of the episode description that says, send Crystal a text message. And that's all I want you to do. Send me a text. It could be casual, informal. It could be totally anonymous. Or if you want, you can include your name and the name of your podcast or content, wherever you are creating. And I will give you a special shout out in an upcoming episode. So again, go to the show notes for where you're listening to this episode right now. And it will say, send Crystal a text message. And I cannot wait to hear from you and give you a shout out in the upcoming segment of Fan Mail Shoutouts.